on this 13th day of vlogmas what does sandy mom have for you well i really can't think of anything that i could possibly put up now during this time when there's so many people been touched by those awful tornadoes i'm thinking about all <clears throat> all day long so i thought the only thing i could do is Ask for us all together to pray for everyone who's lost people, who's lost property, who's lost possessions, lost memories. You know, when you lose your house, can you imagine? So everything's gone. I remember people before when I seen on the news, they were clinging on to pictures if they had anything. So the ones that survived, that had nowhere to live, had pictures of their loved ones or their family. Just imagine that. I can't, I can't imagine how awful, especially that now what's going on in our world, to, to put people in a shelter. I don't even know how they do all that. It's just awful, the number of people lost just gets higher and higher and I can't imagine how how horrible it is when something like that just happens and you have no control. You know, I was a good example of being on an airplane because I just I can't stand airplanes, you know, once you get on they shut their door, that's it. There's no turning back. And all these people had to live through all that. And when they talked about, <clears throat> a lot of them referred to that. They heard like, sound like a train. And I know when we have wind here, I always refer to it. It sounds like a train. And I always, I worry that it could turn into a tornado. I mean, we don't live in a tornado place, but we've had some pretty close by in our area. So I guess... You know, things can happen anywhere, but it's just, it's just terrible. It's heartbreaking to listen to all those stories, to listen to the, I don't know which the guy and the woman was, there's one guy who keeps talking on YouTube. I just, I just can't imagine. So... Let us all together pray for all the people who lost loved ones, those that died, friends and family of those that died, those that lost their homes and have nowhere to live, people that may still be alive, hopefully there are, but can you imagine being stuck somewhere and wondering if you're going to be able to get help to get out? Just so terrible. I just, as I say, out of bad comes good. This I can't think of any good except the only thing is that I've used this phrase before that you know you really gotta love your love your loved ones even more. Because when tragedies like this happen, it just reminds you how fast life can be taken away. So I hope you're all doing well, and I hope no one's been touched by this. And it's awful to have to fear weather. I I can't imagine. I mean, we have what we have here: bad snowstorms and ice storms, and knocks out the power and polar vortex, and it's very cold. And it's nothing compared to what they went through. It's just so overwhelming. So for all the people who have been involved in this, had to go through this, that are just wandering, walking wonderly aimlessly. I don't think wonderly was the word I was looking for. It's walking around aimlessly. That's all I can think of. I just can't even imagine what goes through their heads. So God, please watch over these people, their families, and everyone, the people that are helping them, so they get through this horrible, horrible time. Amen.
Hope you're all being safe. Bye for now.